Yo, 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 it's Illy Boy Popey with another Illuminating Rant. 333-777 and all that jazz. You dig? This is an update to the 42 Laws of Moat Challenge. Today is day three. And the challenge, the, the law for today is I am peaceful. And when it comes to peace, you got to understand that you can be going through a time of chaos and still embody the foundation of peace. So it's like you have to understand that for you to make the best decision with clarity and confidence, you must have inner peace. And by saying that you have inner peace, that doesn't mean that you don't honor the chaos or the turbulence that you're experiencing, but you don't allow that chaos or that turbulence to impede on your inner peace. When you have inner peace, you'll be able to see these chaotic, dark times clearly and see exactly what they're trying to teach you. Whenever you're going through turbulent waters, whenever you're going through chaotic times, they're always trying to teach you something. It's always a message because there's no such thing as coincidences. So when you're peaceful, you will be able to discern and dissect these messages with calm clarity. <clears throat> so it's about maintaining the calm within the storm. Peace within is priceless. And a lot of rash decisions people make usually come out of space that isn't peaceful. Because if you're not peaceful, then you're going to be confrontational, reactional, fight or flight. If you're peaceful, you're able to consciously respond to external stimuli. So when you're in that mode of peace you will be able to respond consciously you won't have a knee jerk reaction to the chaos or the triggers or the traumas or the pains that you experience in your external reality so yeah that's all I had to really say in this video the third law I am peaceful like I said in the previous videos these affirmations and these laws are hitting a lot more harder because I've been spiritually developed and been through the the pressure, the fire that creates diamonds and gold. Like I'm go, I've been through that, I'm going through that, and like my awareness has expanded to the point where I understand where my inner peace lies. I understand the things that bring me peace. I understand the thoughts that don't bring me peace. I understand the thoughts and feelings that bring me peace. I understand the thoughts and feelings that don't bring me feet bring me peace. So I'm able to discern what I allow in my subconscious garden. I'm able to discern what I water. I'm able to discern what I uproot. And I'm able to discern what no longer serves me because I'm in a state of peace. And yes, it's an on and off thing. I'm not going to sit here and say, I'm 100% always fucking in peace. I'm human just like you. But I am saying by consciously becoming aware of these different aspects of life, I have been able to maintain an inner peace easier and easier. Like for instance, today, I was triggered by a conversation I had with one of my homeboys, but I quickly seen why I was triggered and why why it, it won't matter. <laughs> why the trigger won't even matter. Because at the end of the day, I have inner peace within myself and I know my own identity. So any external outside factor really doesn't matter and it doesn't affect the inner truth and the inner peace that I know you did so yeah in this quick video I just wanted to let you know like I am peaceful honor the peace within do things that make you peaceful and do things that allow you to maintain a foundation in that peace because in that peace you can get clarity and that clarity you can see clearly and when you see clearly you're able to consciously react you're able to consciously respond instead of have a knee-jerk reaction to triggers traumas and, and pain and stuff like that 
So when you're in a peaceful state, you can consciously respond. And when you're not in a peaceful state, you are only react, knee-jerk reaction. So that's all I had to say in this quick video. Tap into your peace. Tap into your groundedness. And stand firm in your beliefs. You dig? Learn to consciously respond to the chaotic outside world. Learn how to consciously respond when you are triggered or have been done wrong. Learn to consciously respond for the highest good. Transmutation is your best friend, my friend. And that's all I got to say in this quick video. That's Illy Boy Pope, another illuminating rant, candlelight community. It takes one candlestick to light a thousand. That's Illy. What's that hat? Oh, that's Illy. Illy and out.